deadly red diamond, diamond skin disease. When summer was just around the corner, a phone call came in for a veterinarian who was enjoying the morning of early summer. Sir, I have a sow that is in the last trimester of pregnancy. Suddenly, she stopped eating, and now there are some pox-like symptoms all over the skin. Actually, she seemed to look all right until yesterday. One employee doubts it as swine erysipelas. Can you come over and take a look at her symptoms? Is it her first pregnancy? No, it's the eighth. Erysipelas. It means red-skinned. It usually occurs in sows with less experiences of pregnancy because they are still young and their immune system is not that strong. However, sometimes the cases of older sows are also reported. The most evident feature of the infection is a typical symptom of swine erysipelas, red diamond-shaped skin lesions. And another reason why swine erysipelas is dangerous is infectious to human. In the 1920s, Germany was suffering from the aftermath of the defeat in World War I. The huge war reparations. The economy collapsed, followed by riots and rebellion. In the time of poverty and hunger, a German who was working at a slaughterhouse secretly made and ate uncooked sausages out of slaughtered pigs with swine erysipelas symptoms. In a little while, he had red hives all over his body, just like the pig he made into the sausage. And that was the first human case of swine erysipelas. Even in farms without any symptoms, Erysipelothrix rusiopathii, cause of swine erysipelas, are carried in the tonsil of pigs for over 50%. And that's spread out through feces and saliva. The excreted bacteria enter the bloodstream through the wound on the skin and cause septicemia. The incubation period takes only two days at most. After that, red diamond-shaped skin lesions spread throughout the body. But skin symptoms are only a part of swine erysipelas. Once the bacteria enter through the mouth or skin wounds, they increase so fast, just like a snowball, in a day or two, and finally spread throughout the whole body through blood vessels. In this process, pigs may die of shock, miscarry with high fever, or suffer from arthritis. Swine erysipelas vaccines have been developed a long time ago. Once the antibody generated by vaccination adheres to the bacteria, it is quickly detected by the immune cells and easily removed. There are various types of Erosiplothrix rusiopathii, but the current vaccines are sufficient to prevent them all. <laughs>